everybody. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm so glad you're here. I wanted to share a phone call with you that I received last night. And it was someone who's having trouble with their child who's being bullied at school. Bullying is a worldwide problem. It's not just at your son or daughter's school. It's not just a child's problem. People get bullied at work. People get harassed everywhere. And why does this happen? These are, these are happening because these are individuals who want to feel bigger and more important in their eyes to someone else. Putting someone down, talking down to someone, making someone else feel scared or belittled seems to be some people's missions in life. And again, I'm not just talking about children, and I'm, I'm talking about adults as well. That's why there's so much abuse going on. I was bullied. I was bullied in grade school, and it, it started when I was very young from a neighborhood boy, and it went on for years. And unfortunately, I started out doing the very wrong thing. I did not tell my parents, and I should have. And what had happened was, <clears throat> this boy seemed to think that he had so much power over me. And he was younger than I was. <laughs> but he had so much power, and I was so trusting. And uh, unfortunately, it accelerated into a situation that was mortifying to me and um, it turned into a, a molestation type of thing over and over for years. And because I didn't do or handle it correctly in the beginning, um, it was a very sad situation. And it turned out to be sad for him, but um, it's still something that I have in my mind that, that happened, and, and I'll never get over it. I, I cope with it, and I want to help other people with it, but when you go along in life and when you're adults you think you're free from all of that stuff that happens at school as a, as a child but it happens at work as well how many times have you heard about harassment at work <clears throat> they call it many different things at work but it's still bullying anybody who talks down to you and tries to control you that's bullying um, what do you do about it well you're going to have to take these thoughts that I have and try to form them into something that will fit you because I'm talking to a lot of people here on this video. Some of you have children going through this and some of you may be going through it yourself. And first thing you have to do is just ignore them. Do not give them control of your time. Don't, don't do that. Don't let them control you. The minute that you respond to them, all of a sudden they start thinking they have control of you. So you have to ignore them and be strong on that. You have to walk away and don't engage in it. Um, you know, you can tell them to please stop, but that's kind of responding to them and they feed off of that. Oh, okay, that's like, a, that's like fishing. They're, they're fishing and they're waiting for a nibble. They're waiting for a response from you. Um, you can ask them what they want or why are they doing it, but you're not going to get an intelligent answer. You, you have to realize what you're dealing with here. You're, realize, you're dealing with someone who just wants to control you, and they're going to control you in a way that's going to threaten you, and they will threaten you, and they're threatening your children if they're doing it to your children. If they tell, they're going to make it horrible for them. Well, I'm going to tell you what, if you don't tell, they're going to make it horrible for you. So you might as well get it into your children that they must tell you regardless of the threats that they get. When I was bullied, I was threatened. Don't you ever tell anybody. I'll, I'll tell them it was all your fault or something like of this nature. What happened to that? I remembered that and I never told anybody. But then I wound up in a marriage, in an abusive marriage, and he did the same thing. Although he was abusing me and beating me all the time, I was still threatened. 
and I was afraid to tell anybody. So encourage your child or your friend if they're going through this. They must tell somebody about this. So what if it's your word against theirs? It's still out in the open, and they're they're still going to be scolded about it. So you have to... You have to handle this very carefully, but the bottom line of, of all of the things that I could talk about for hours here about this, and I could give you hundreds of examples because we've had a lot of patients in. We've had a lot of emergency room patients in because they were, they were bullied so, so badly that they were injured terribly or they were raped. So you must encourage people to tell somebody about it. Tell an adult. Tell a responsible person. Tell someone who's not related to or connected to that other individual that's doing this. Bullying is a serious, serious problem. We've seen in the news a lot of people, a lot of kids and even adults who've committed suicide because the pressure is enormous. And yes, it is. The pressure is terrible. So if you know someone who's being bullied, whether at school whether it's your child, whether at work, if it's you or a friend or a loved one, it has to be brought out into the open. And it has to be talked about and dealt with. It's not going to ever go away. And if you don't, if you don't report them, they're just going to turn and do it to somebody else. And that person may not survive. So be careful how you handle this. And, but do, conf do get it out in the open and do get some help with it because it has to be dealt with. Okay, I hope that helped you a little bit and I hope it will help someone else that you know who has been through this. It's a horrible thing to go through and it's something that you'll, they'll never, never get out of their mind. They'll always have that with them. So I hope that helped with you and I, and I encourage you to talk to somebody. Um, and that's all I have for you today. There is a link above this video that uh, will take you to my blog's homepage. I have blogged about this. It's in the library of my homepage. And I will be blogging, blogging about it again at dailyadversitysupport.com. I hope you have a fabulous day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.